As a college student, you'll be faced every day with new terminology and vocabulary. When you don't learn that terminology, you can be stuck in a bad position by looking foolish because you use the wrong word to explain or describe something, getting a poor grade because you didn't use the correct terms, being confused by what your professors and peers are talking about. Throughout English 102, you'll watch brief videos to help you develop the research vocabulary you need for success. In this video, we'll look at the difference between a database and a search engine. And we'll also look at how the internet figures into this whole picture. A database is an organized collection of journal, magazine, and newspaper articles. A database works like an index that allows you to locate articles relevant to your topic. A library subscribes to database services. In other words, the library pays money for it. And each library database indexes a different collection of articles, though there may be some overlap between what articles are indexed in each database. Some examples of databases are the Gale Virtual Reference Library, or GVRL, ProQuest, Academic Search Premier, PsycInfo, and ScienceDirect. You'll learn how to use all of these databases this quarter. A search engine, on the other hand, is a general internet search tool that will locate pretty much anything on the web a search engine offers basically no organization of information, no control over the information you'll find. In other words, you might locate any kind of website using a search engine. Commonly used search engines are Google, Bing, and Yahoo. And I'm sure you're familiar with search engines already and probably use them every day. Now, how does the internet figure into this? A connection to the internet is necessary to use both a search engine like Google and a database like ProQuest. The internet is a broad, umbrella-like term, and databases and search engines fall under that broad term as more specific identifiers. So if you say you've used the internet to locate a source, you haven't really said much at all. What's more important is to, to know is, did you use a search engine like Google, or did you use a database like GVRL? Created using Powtoon.